What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 25 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Karen has two dogs. The larger dog weighs 1 and 4 tenth pounds more than the smaller dog, and the combined weight of the two dogs is 12 and 6 tenths pounds. And we're trying to find the weight in pounds of the smaller dog. Now the two skills that this will test us on are translating word problems to equation language and solving a system of equations by substitution. So I first want to point out that there's actually two things in this problem that we don't know. The larger dog, which I'll call L, and the smaller dog, which I will call S. We are trying to find the weight of the smaller dog, but we might have to end up finding the weight of the larger dog in the process. So let's go ahead and translate some of the words in this to equation language. If it says the larger dog weighs 1.4 pounds more than the smaller dog, then that tells me that the weight of the larger dog is the smaller dog's weight plus 1.4 pounds. Okay, very nice. That's one of our equations. We got that from directly translating this sentence. And then we have that the combined weight of the two dogs, so the larger dog plus the smaller dog, is 12.6 pounds. So here are our two equations. And now the best way to solve this system is going to be by the process of substitution. So here's my uh, little cheat sheet for solving a system by substitution that I have actually used on another question somewhere else in the Math 1 uh, released items. Um, so you can go ahead and try to find that. It should be filed with the same playlist as this question. But anyway, I have my two equations here. The larger dog is the smaller dog's weight plus 1.4. The two of them together equal 12.6. So our first step is to get either x or y, in this case s or l, the small dog's weight or the large dog's weight, by itself in one of the equations. So we actually have that done already because we have the large dog's weight by itself. We just know that it equals the small dog plus 1.4. Now step two, we need to take this expression that we got in step one for l and that the problem gave us and plug it into the other equation. So now I'm going to rewrite this one, but instead of s, still equals 12.6, but instead of S, now I'm writing instead of L. Sorry, I should have been saying instead of L that whole time. Instead of L, I'm now writing S plus 1.4. So instead of large dog, I'm just saying small dog plus 1.4. We can treat this like it's somebody's first name and middle name. You might know someone who goes by their middle name, and occasionally you might see their parents or family member call them by their first name or vice versa. But anyway, two names for the same person, just like in substitution, we're subbing out one name for something for the other name. Instead of L, S plus 1.4. So now, we go ahead and solve for S. So S plus 1.4 plus S, I can already see that I have to combine my like terms, because I'm essentially saying now that two small dogs plus 1.4 equals 12.6. And now I just need to treat this like a regular two-step equation. I can't get rid of this 2 before, well I can, but it's easier to get rid of the 1.4 first. So I subtract 1.4 and these cancel. Subtract 1.4 and I get the weight of two small dogs is going to equal 11.2. And now all I have to do is divide. Divide the left side by 2, the right side by 2, 2 divided by 2 cancels and I'm left with the small dog's weight equals 5.6 pounds. Now, just to make sure that this works, I'll actually finish up with step three, which is where I take this number, plug it back in, and make sure that I get it for um, that equation. I'll test the ordered pair of the two weights. So if the large dog equals 5.6, Point six plus 1.4. Large dog would just be 7 pounds. And then if I add the weight of the two dogs, 5.6 plus 7 does get me 12.6. So I'm happy about this because it tells me that this is the correct answer for the weight of the small dog. And now I just need to go ahead and fill this into the gridded response boxes. Let me scoot that up so y'all can see. Sorry about that. So here's my gridded response box. My answer for the small dog's weight was 5 and 6 tenths. So 
I actually need to give each digit and the decimal their own box. I look under the five and bubble in the five bubble. I look under the decimal point and bubble in the decimal point bubble. I look under the six and bubble in the six bubble. And that is how I solve and actually write out my answer to a question like this.